Hi, I'm Devin with Inner Spark, and I'm back to talk about the mental body. And if you've been following along, you know that I'm sharing how we can create whole being nourishment through learning to look at ourselves as having four unique layers of our being. So physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual. I've already shared about physical and emotional, and if you've missed those gems, I highly recommend heading over to my blog or to my YouTube channel to get caught up. And today we are on to the mental body, the mind, the place between our ears. Um, our minds can be the most beautiful and brilliant tools to help us to reason, to imagine, to question, to explore, and they can also be downright cruel. This is the place of our inner critic and our internal dialogue. And those voices of fear and doubt that can hold us back instead of supporting us. And oftentimes these voices aren't even ours. They're the media's influence or an elementary school bully or an old boss, the next lover, so on and so forth. So these subconscious imprints play on repeat and then they make us feel like crap. So now we're starting to see the connections among our bodies. We'll feel angry, frustrated, sad, unworthy, etc. All these feelings that we unfortunately can relate to at some point in our lives because we're human and we all have a mental body. And so these mental body stories will make us feel a certain way. And that emotion, as I've discussed, can manifest in the physical body. And these unprocessed, stagnant emotions can often have really horrible physical effects, as I also discussed. And we can also create self-fulfilling prophecies to continue to perpetuate these beliefs because the mental body, the ego, loves to be right. It loves to create the conditions in the environment for us to experience that feeling of like, oh yeah, I, I am not good enough, or like, oh yeah, that's not safe, whatever the case may be, whatever the story may be. So for example, someone desires to lose weight and the mental body will automatically come in and say, oh, you've already tried that in the past, it didn't work, or, you know, you're not gonna be able to make these new changes stick, you're just doomed to be fat, or whatever the case may be. So this in turn makes the person feel anxious, they feel stressed, and that registers as this feeling of unsafe. It's unsafe. And one of the things that excess weight can actually represent is a feeling of a lack of safety. It's a cushion, a barrier between us and the outside world. Not to mention the physiological response of stress and anxiety itself registers as not safe, not safe. So the body produces stress hormones, cortisol, these things that we've heard of, which do in fact hinder the body from losing weight. So it's this vicious cycle that we get caught up in. So why is this person programmed with such a shitty mental body story in the first place? It's different for each person. And the key is to really listen and to identify the root. Because once we do that, we can consciously and from an empowered place, pick out these untruths and replace them with things that are true. And so I've got some homework for you for the next week or so. Really lean in and pay attention to the stories that your mental body tells you and gather all the data and then objectively analyze it and ask yourself, first of all, how much of these stories are helpful and how much of them are not? and which ones are actually yours and which ones aren't. And from there, you can start to weed out the untruths and powerfully choose new ones. Your emotional body, your physical body will all thank you for this. And so in the example I gave, that person could choose to shift that story of, oh, you won't be able to make these changes stick to, I hear you, and maybe that was true in the past and right now, I am creating change from a joyful, compassionate, loving place. 
and it might take a couple of times, but they'll start to believe it. And then that new story will start to manifest emotionally and physically. And so flower essences can also really help with this, by the way, a little plug for those beauties, those earth medicine gems that we have at our disposal. Really great for shifting those old patterns. And I'm curious, what stories your mental body tells you if you've noticed the connection between the emotional body and the physical body and what new truths you plan on telling yourself please share with me and i will see you on the next video